Well, hey guys and welcome to another video. Um, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing. It's a collab video with Team Broccoli and I'll leave her info below and then her video link. Basically what we did is um, I sent her 10 vegan items I don't think she's tried yet and she sent me 10. So that's what's in here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in a bag and not look and then just like pick one out at a time and then try it. So I'm excited and here we go. So now we have the bag of goodies. I didn't look at any of it. <laughs> but I hit mail. And my scissors. The first thing is broccoli florets. Crispy, crunchy broccoli florets. For Trader Joe's. Let's try these guys out. I like broccoli, but my husband Josh, he's more of a broccoli fan. So we'll see. They smell really good. It's literally just salt, oil, and broccoli. <laughs> Look how cute. <laughs> it like surprisingly doesn't taste exactly like broccoli, but they're really good. I'm all getting another one. I'll definitely eat these. I bet you Josh will love these too. I was gonna have him do this with me, but he's sleeping because he has to work tonight. But these are really, really good. Okay, I need to get some water. <laughs> the next one, this is heavy. Ooh. They're Trader Joe's Thai Lime and Chili Cashews. She was texting me and asking if I could have hot things and I have a really sensitive tongue so she said she might have to return some but I told her I'd try whatever she got. So yes, these might burn my tongue but everything does so it doesn't matter. I don't know, I'm gonna open it from this side. Almost used my teeth but don't do that because that's how I chipped one of them. <laughs> that's what these are for. Oh, those smell good. Yeah, those have a kick. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? <laughs> she likes them. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> those have good flavor. But Josh is going to have to eat them. Because <laughs> I'm going to go back to, back to a broccoli. That's got a kick to it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm sweating a little bit right now. Woo. What sucks about like how sensitive my tongue is is that I love the flavor of spicy stuff, but I can't take the pain. <laughs> We're gonna go to number three now. I've always wanted to try jackfruit. These are um, crispy, crunchy jackfruit chips. The only jackfruit product I've seen is um, at Sprouts. Where I used to live and it was the barbecue jackfruit, but it was so expensive that I didn't get it. So I'm really excited to try this because I've always wanted to try jackfruit. My nose is running from those uh, cashews. <laughs> huh, that's not really how I thought it would smell. I mean, they're dried, but. Wow. Dude, if the real thing's anything like the chips, I need this in my life. You're so good. I'm hungry and I'm gonna be making something to eat after this, so I'm probably snacking way too much on the things, but this is amazing. <laughs> okay, on to the fourth one. This one's wrapped. Very excited. This is the Speculoos Crunchy Cookie Butter. All you have to do is taste it to understand. Well, I'm going to. 
spread on pancakes or waffles, peanut butter and cookie butter sandwiches, serve on ice cream, dip pretzels or celery. What don't you do with something this delicious? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Whoever made this, I'm in love with them. Um, it's creamy and it does have little crunchy parts in it because it said it has crushed biscuits in it. And it reminds you of the holidays. It says gingerbread, but I don't think I've ever really had anything gingerbread -y, but this tastes familiar. So maybe I have. I don't know. This stuff is amazing. Oh, I can imagine putting it on like toast and it would like melt a little bit on there. Or yeah, like it says on top of pancakes, this is gonna be, this isn't gonna last very long because I've been on a sweet kick lately <laughs> instead of salt. So it's this, you need to try this. Thumbs up for that guy. To the fifth one. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. This reminds me, in, um, it's chili spiced mango. And in elementary school, People used to buy, um, bring the little bottles of the, I don't remember what they were called, but it was like this, a Lucas, I think. And they would like shake it on your hand and you would eat it with your finger. But that's what this reminds me of. I love mango, like anything. Like fake mango taste, real mangoes. I actually have a mango I found for really cheap the other day because they're not really in season right now. He's hanging out over there, but uh, Let's see if this one burns my mouth. I've got my water just in case. I'm just gonna take a little bite. I don't wanna like blow my mouth up. <laughs> Kinda gotta wait for the heat to kick in. I can eat these. It's not too spicy at all. It has like a little bit of a kick in the back of my throat, but this is good. I can feel. This isn't bad for you at all. Oh no, it has carbs. I'm just kidding. Carbs are life. Oh, it's ginger. I was confused. I was like, is this pineapple? Crystallized candy ginger. Sweet and spicy. You know what's funny about this is during the holidays at the grocery store I worked at, people were like, do you have candy ginger? No. I've never seen ginger sold except for um, ginger root. And I don't think I've ever had ginger, except for in a water when Josh and I were on a diet way back in the day. This bag's hard to open. Oh. oh, this is the stuff that comes with like sushi and stuff, right? That's what it smells like, right? There's a little ginger piece and like a little wasabi. I don't touch the wasabi. I'm not gonna lie, the smell of ginger has always kind of freaked me out, so we'll see. That's why I've never tried it. It smells like perfume to me. And we all know what perfume tastes like when you get it in your mouth. So. Yeah, that doesn't taste like perfume at all. That's really good. It's got spice to it though, I can tell. Cause it's like burning in the previous parts that this was burning. It definitely has a kick to it. Which is weird because usually I only think things are spicy when, you make, when it's like red. So this is really off-putting because <laughs> it doesn't look spicy, but it's got a kick. I actually do like it though. Let's see what we have. Yeah. Are these jellies with no gelatin? They're called Scandinavian swimmers in sea life shapes. Inside this nautically bedecked pouch, you'll find ocean inspired shapes, lobsters, dolphins, seahorse, sis, seahorses, and rockfish in naturally derived colors and bright fruity flavors, all adding up to an aquatic assortment of yummy gummy candies you can take with you to the beach or the aquarium and places without water too. And these are so freaking adorable. I like can't handle it right now. Anything animal shaped, I'm like, huh. Also, I love seahorses. Again, very weird to say. So I'm gonna find one of those to try. Cause I think those are just like the cutest things. 
Or actually, look what's on top. She's his lobster. That's a friend's reference. Wow. You know what drives me up the wall? Is that there can be vegan versions of like everything, but we still continue to use stuff with animal ingredients. These gummies are way better than regular gummies because they're softer and they're more chewy. They're not all like powdery. Sorry, I'm still looking for a seahorse. <gasps> I found one. <gasps> Look how cute. And the seahorse is probably gonna be my favorite because it tastes kind of like pineapple. <laughs> super, super extra excited and in love with these. They're so good. Thank you. These are seriously, again, it's probably because they're animal shaped because I just have a soft spot for animals, obviously. And next we have, oh no, these look like cookies. Oh, it's the same brand as this yummy stuff. Speculoos cookies, crisp caramelized cinnamon spice Belgian cookies. Look how pretty they are. These remind me of something, just like this did. This is what this is made for, isn't it? This is this is the whole buy it, gotta buy both. You can't even handle this, it's so good. Man. Absolutely amazing. So we only have two left. <laughs> I almost dropped that. <laughs> you could probably tell from my face. Ooh, this looks like a sauce. <gasps> yeah. I'm really excited for this sauce because this is the one in Derek and uh, yeah, Derek's video on conventional living that I really wanted to try. But we don't live next to a Trader Joe's or any other place really. So thank you. Jenny for buying me this because you know what's gonna happen though? Josh would be like, let me give some of the barbecue sauce. And I'll be like, no, this one's mine. I like it because it reminds me of like a honey barbecue, which I used to enjoy, but obviously I don't eat honey anymore. Which you know made me a little sad, but oh <laughs> it got right in my nostril. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, it's like a honey mustard barbecue sauce. And this is really freaking good. Also, this is happening. What do you have? They never want to do it on camera because they know you caught them. But anyways, um, top notch product right here. I would definitely recommend this if you can get it. This stuff is bomb. Yes, I just used the word bomb. I grew up in the 90s. <laughs> I'm old. And the last one. Oh. See, I am like so in love with you right now. <laughs> I've been wanting to try this one too because it's another one from um, Derek's sauce video where they're like, do, 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 dancing and stuff. Yeah, that was my impression. This is like my new favorite sauce. Not this brand. I've never had this brand. But I'm like obsessed with this type of sauce and I'm like really excited to try this one. Cause when you like see people in videos using the same thing over and over, you're like, I wanna try that. And now I get to. It's better than the one I have. This is so good. If you've never tried this kind of sauce, the sweet chili, you need to try it. And if you can get this brand, you absolutely should. Because this stuff is like gold in the ch sweet chili sauces. And this is gold for the barbecue. So oh, that's, yeah, that was the last thing. So again, Jenny, Team Broccoli, thank you so much for doing this with me. It was super fun. Josh and I had a blast picking out your stuff. <laughs> and you got 10 out of 10 that I hadn't tried before. So... I will leave the link to her video. Um, I'll put it in the corner. 
I don't know how this works. It's either up here or up here. I'll put it in the corner and I'll put a link down in the description and then go subscribe to her because she's really awesome and she does daily vlogs pretty much. Um, she's got two kids, she's got a husband and she's vegan and she's freaking unique and awesome. So go check out our channel and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. See ya.